idea of bringing a code of ethics for the city is a terrific one. We already have a philosophy statement that covers a lot of things that would be in a code of ethics, but if it raises the public level of confidence in our city officials, in our city staff, then it's a great idea. Um, if you Google code of ethics, which I did, you'll get a half a dozen terrific city code of ethics um, that we could use any of them. Um, we actually have a really good uh, framework that we could use. And if you ask any second grader in the entire Santa Clarita Valley, they will tell you the code of ethics and its character counts. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. And if we are teaching our elementary school children that, I don't think there's any reason why as adults we can't behave the same way. The one thing I want to point out, and this really did come up with the issue that everyone else has talked about, is that ethics are a gray area. The law really covers a lot of the behavior of city officials and, and city staff. Ethics covers the stuff that's not in there. And it's the questionable things. And I think that's what we need to look at, that sometimes those issues are a matter of character and of making good choices. Not so much a matter of what's right or what's wrong, but what kind of a person are you? Um, and honestly, it's one of the reasons I'm running for city council. I think that we need people who really represent good character, who are out representing the citizens of our community. And having a code of ethics is a great launching pad for that kind of a, of a new period in our city as we enter the next 20 years.